What are you staring at? Yeah, good boy. I'm gonna be telling you about everything that you should know about having a Doberman. This guy right here. As you can see, we're pretty tight. He's uh, resting on me and that kind of, I'll get into how Dobermans are Velcro dogs and stuff like that in a bit. Looking at, all right. I'm not wearing glasses to look like a bag, but I don't like that people know that I'm filming a video. I'm gonna be talking about what's it like to, you know, like raise a Doberman. I'm just speaking from my experience and I'm telling you guys just some of the stuff that I knew about the breed prior to actually getting the dog. Questions about the breed like, I don't know, how much do you feed it? Uh, what's socialization look like? And anytime someone asked me a question, I just knew the answer plus more. So I figured I could give you guys some valuable information. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that you should know about Dobermans is that they're, they're a working breed, like German Shepherds, um, Belgian Malinois. I always say that so weird. I hope I pronounced it right. Um, Kane Corsos, you guys get the idea. What a working dog is, is this dog needs a job to do. Um, Australian Shepherds, they, you know, sheep dogs, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know like how they have a, in, you know how in movies they have like the dog chasing the sheep and like herding it? That's what a working dog is. That dog has a specific job to do and uh, yeah, and they, that's how they get their energy out. So that's what a Doberman is, you know. What it means is that he needs to have some outlet of all that energy that he has. And even though he's not a puppy anymore, Dobermans are pretty much puppies their whole lives because they're just always so willing to please. Um, and you have to know that. And that kind of leads to my next point, which is they're a Velcro dog. Wait, oh God. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Look at him just chilling. He, he came here all by himself. My king, my soldier, the cybermatic nation. President, you're our cyber nation. Hey, get out of my cyberspace, bro. Oh, shit, that was instant. This dog is gonna be attached to you for the rest of its life. When I first got cyber, I had this picture. I, I hope I can find it. They got wiped from the iCloud. But basically, like, I'm using the bathroom. He's a puppy. I'm scared that he's gonna walk, you know, get into stuff when I'm not looking. That's one thing you really gotta keep an eye on them. They're like a kid. I've never had a baby, I'm not comparing, but you get the idea. Um, so I had him like walk around in the bathroom when I was taking a number two. And he just climbed into my was, shorts, you know, my doing my business and just laid there. And that was like, just, it was, it was so sweet and gross at the same time. So what was I, what the hell, I'm just, I love this. This this is the type of video I haven't done in a while where I just sit where I just sit down and talk to you guys. Uh, so I hope you guys do get something out of this. Um, so let me go to my notes app real quick when I'm driving and I have my son in my car. Like this is so health issues, got it. So originally I wanted a Rottweiler, but they have they're known for hip dysplasia. Um, there's gonna be a lot of words in this vlog that you're like, what the f did he just say? I don't know how to pronounce anything, I'm sorry. This is this is something for a whole nother video, but basically if I breed him with another dog who doesn't have these issues, that will cancel it out in the litter, meaning more healthy Dobermans in the future, which is obviously your goal for any breeding dog. Yeah, they're known to have health issues, so you gotta, you, you have to find a reputable, eh? you have to find a reputable, <laughs> you have to find a reputable breeder, um, or when you're adopt, because when you adopt one, you don't, necessarily always know the bloodlines of the dog and if you're okay with that that's fine go with that you know I'm not saying don't adopt dogs I'm not saying only get a dog from a breeder but I wanted to know I wanted to know exactly where he was coming from exactly what I was getting into and that was just my choice I have been getting a lot of requests um, you know like what's it like to have a Doberman but this is something I can't make in one video in five videos this is something that I researched for one almost two years before I even got cyber. So I can't throw that into a five, 10 minute video. You guys know that. So I'm trying to give you as much information as possible as I can. I'm gonna tell you more stuff about it. 
So um, they're really smart dogs, insanely smart dogs. And when you have a smart dog, you can't let that dog outsmart you because that's when you have um, issues on biting pillows, stealing shoes, eating cardboard, eating presents. Like, they're smart dogs. I guess to give you an example of this is one day I was sitting on the couch that Cyber was not allowed to go on. So he brought me his tennis ball and we played fetch for about five, ten throws. And then on one, I throw the ball. He kind of nudges it under this TV stand and it, it looked so intentional. And you just know when your dog does that. And he looked at me. So I get up, obviously, to go get the ball because he can't reach under a, the table. And he ran straight to the couch and just sat on it. And he looked at me like so smugly. Kind of one of those things where you just know when your dog is, you know, you know. If you guys do decide to get a Doberman or any dog, just make sure the dog is not out, make sure the dog is not outsmarting you to the point where you're the dog and that dog owns you. There's been All right guys, like I mentioned earlier, I'm probably not gonna be able to fit everything in this video, but the last thing I kind of wanted to touch on, because this is a whole nother video, is ear cropping. It was obviously a controversial topic, and uh, I don't know if you can tell, but if you go through the comments on the first video we made, there's a lot of people being like, <laughs> You know, like they, they hate you. And you have to know that going into, do you want a Doberman with cropped ears or uncropped ears? Are you going to a breeder that crops them anyways? Um, are you docking the tail? These are questions you have to ask yourself. The litter that Cyber came from, they were all cropped at 10 weeks, tails docked, all of that stuff. I couldn't wait that eight to 10 weeks, so uh, she let everyone take the puppies home and then you obviously bring it back. And uh, that was the process. It looks like I've been filming for a while, so I want to get this video out because a lot of people have been asking recently. So uh, I just want to say thanks, I guess. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end it there. We're almost home, and I don't want to show you guys where I live because then you're going to come find me. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so yeah, just to touch on the points, they're working dogs, extremely, extremely Velcro dogs. Do you want your Doberman to be cropped and docked? Do you want an American Doberman? Do you want a European Doberman? These dogs are different. What's the difference? That's a whole nother video. In short, American Dobermans were bred slightly down to be more family dogs rather than, if you look at the average European Doberman and American Doberman, most likely the European Doberman is gonna be bigger, stronger. The differences between the two, the main ones that I would personally say is the European ones tend to look a lot darker. Um, Enzo, the original stud dog I was going to have, which is not from Cyber's Bloodlines, um, he was so, a dark, big, huge paws, just beautiful, beautiful Doberman. Not to say Cyber's dad isn't, um, but you can just tell it was, you know, Amer European Dobermans tend to be more suited for pure working dogs. You know, they hustle way more energy than American Doberman might have. Again, that's just from my perspective. So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. There are similarities, too. Both are loyal dogs. Um, both are amazing breeds. Like, I'm not saying European Dobermans are better than American, because I have an American Doberman. Cyber's American Doberman. And yet, he, you still see many true traits of the Doberman. It's not to say he can't be stronger than a European dog, but if I were to take an average Doberman from Europe, I think that Doberman would be bigger, than cyber, possibly darker, bigger paws. So again, this isn't saying every dog, but you guys, I gotta make these points. I gotta tell you, I gotta drop this knowledge on you guys. I gotta drop all this doggy knowledge on you guys. Um, but I think that's enough knowledge for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, it helps a lot. That's another thing about my dog that I was worried about, but I, it's no problem at all. He loves the car rides. Like we'll go for hours and he, he just sleeps. Like, look, he's just sleeping on my arm. He's a good boy. You're a good boy. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, thanks for watching. Right, see ya. Chair.
Tyler, come here, you found me. Come on, come this way. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I can check. <laughs>